This is an annual service practice firing of a Redstone missile by Battery A, 217th Field Artillery Missile Battalion, 40th Artillery Group at White Sands Missile Range, New Mexico. The missile fired was a Chrysler-built Block II missile number CC-2014. The operation was conducted at Launch Complex LC-36. The date of the launch was March 15, 1960. In the following scenes, Battery A's servicing section personnel are fueling the missile with 19,000 pounds of a 75% alcohol, 25% water solution. The alcohol fuel tank is the upper tank in the Redstone thrust unit. Here we see the fuel tanker trailer. The fuel is pumped from the trailer through a hose attached to the base of the fueling ladder. The fuel then flows up through the ladder standpipe. A short jumper hose is installed from the top of the fueling ladder standpipe to the fueling port located on the side of the thrust unit. Seen here directing the fueling operation is Staff Sergeant Louis Fiore, the servicing section chief. Alcohol fueling has now been completed and the fueling hoses are now being disconnected and removed from the thrust unit and the fueling ladder. This is the heating and cooling drop tank attached to the side of the missile instrument compartment. Prior to flight, the drop tank maintained a constant temperature inside the compartment. Block 1 missile drop tanks were packed with dry ice. Block 2 missile tanks used liquid nitrogen, a byproduct of liquid oxygen production. The crew is now commencing the loading of 25,000 pounds of liquid oxygen into the thrust unit oxidizer tank. Two liquid oxygen or LOX tankers were employed, each carrying 18,000 pounds of liquid oxygen. The pumps on one tanker were started prior to the pumps on the second tanker. This left a LOX reserve in the second tanker for LOX tank replenishment. The boiling point of liquid oxygen is minus 297 degrees Fahrenheit. Since a percentage of liquid oxygen boiled off, the LOX tank had to be periodically replenished during pre-flight operations. Here we see the LOX topping hose running from the missile back to the reserve LOX trailer. Final LOX topping took place just prior to the initiation of the missile firing command. Final preparations for launch are now taking place. Note the frost band that has formed on the exterior circumference of the thrust unit LOX tank. In this slow motion sequence, you will notice the drop tank being jettisoned just prior to engine ignition. The drop tank was jettisoned by the automatic firing of two explosive bolts attaching it to the side of the instrument compartment. Redstone had a maximum range of 201 miles and reached a maximum altitude of 58 miles. 
The max speed of the missile body unit at re-entry interface was Mach 5.5, or five and a half times the speed of sound. Here, engine cutoff has taken place, to be followed shortly by the separation of the missile body from the thrust unit. In place of the warhead radar fuse, missile 2014 carried a TV camera inside the nose cone. Live TV pictures were transmitted to a White Sands Missile Range facility all the way through the missile's ballistic path to impact. Battery A conducted a highly successful annual service practice firing exercise. The warhead impacted within 295 meters of its target, located 55 miles downrange.